Hi friends, it's Courtney. Welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to do some um, review of my August kind of goal planner and then set up for September. So um, this was uh, my like content calendar from for August. As you can see, like I will cross things off. I did white stuff out, but then it just got annoying. So I started crossing through it. It's fine. I used pencil. Some stuff didn't go up. Um, these were kind of the goals that I had set for the month. I did not fill this stuff out and I don't even know if I have my phone with me too, but <clears throat> So my wins for the month, I hope this is in frame. Um, I did make progress on finishing the book. It's not finished yet, which is what I wanted to do. I set up my author social media account and I celebrated my birthday um, with my friends. That was kind of important for me and I set that up as a goal because I tend to get really... Um, depressed about birthdays um, in the best of circumstances. This year, actually today, I'm filming this on August 30th. It is my 50th birthday. So it's a big birthday. It also um, is the first birthday that I've had um, since my dad passed away, which means it's the first birthday that I've celebrated without either of my parents. Um, and so I really wanted <clears throat> to make sure that I kind of let that happen. I tend to get really sort of in my head um, in terms of thinking about um, my friendships and relationships and sometimes um, I feel like I'm being a burden, so I kind of like shut down, if that makes sense. I don't know. We're getting a little too psycho babbly here, but anyway, um, some of the challenges that I had this month that did not really help me, um, and kind of threw a wrench into my overall game plan. I lost a week of productivity because I had a really bad um, muscle spasm. I could not, I literally could not move for like two days. It was in, <clears throat> excuse me, my right, like behind my right shoulder blade. I literally couldn't move for two days and then it took me at, the rest of the week to even like I couldn't the pain was so bad that I couldn't even hold a pen to like write I didn't keep my grandson that week I wasn't sleeping because I was in so much pain it just it was really bad and obviously not anticipated um August is an unusually busy month for me, as it is with lots of people, there's back to school. Um, we went on a little um, like beach holiday before school started. I traveled and took a beach vacation with my girlfriends to celebrate another uh, birthday. Then there was... Um, like party planning. My husband also has a birthday in August. So there just was like a lot of stuff going on that sort of disrupted my regular schedule. And then as I sort of alluded to before, I struggled a lot with my mental health this month. Um, these were some of like the I guess like bigger to do's that I had this month. Some of them I broke down into smaller steps to complete. Some of them I didn't complete at all. I set up my author TikTok, which I alluded to. I did start researching um, how, <clears throat> excuse me, how to set up my newsletter and like the service that I wanna use. I'm still trying to figure out if I want to launch an entirely like separate um, sort of website. I have my blog, which is, you know, its own website 
Um, so I'm trying to figure out if I just want to make a page for my author stuff on that blog or if I want to set up a completely different site. Um, I did come up with questions for my beta readers um, to answer as they're reading through the drafts that I send them. I did not uh, find any beta readers. I didn't even really look for any beta readers though, so that is still on the list. I did pick a date to both set up the pre-sale and the publication date of the book that I'm hoping to publish, that I'm going to publish um, this fall. I started researching the Amazon Influencer Program. I didn't really make any decisions about it either way. Um, I actually ended up reading... Uh, I didn't read seven books. I may get another one in um, before tomorrow. I'm currently reading something now. So <clears throat> I may finish a book tomorrow and get that checked off. The 75 Soft Challenge, I sort of did, but not really. So I'm going to roll that into next month and kind of restart it. Um, I scheduled some of my annual appointments, but not all of them. So that gets moved into to next month. Um, and then these were sort of the goals that I had for each area of my life. Finished the draft of my work in progress. I didn't, I also didn't send it out to beta readers. Um, I sort of, well, I worked on the newsletter situation, so we're just gonna mark that up. Maybe I'll color that in. Um, participate in four live streams. I only participated in one. <clears throat> I did not publish all videos planned. I only published uh, probably about half of them. I did do four blog posts. I did not do an author page on my website. I have put together uh, branding for like my author social media, I have not really implemented it because I haven't done anything with that social media. Um, I did not post five times a week on any platform. Um, I was much more active on IG stories. I hate that I didn't give this sort of uh, like a more definitive goal. It was a very like loose goal. So, and... Did I post four reels? I think I only posted three, but I'll have to go back and double check. Um, I did not do 31 workouts. I ended up doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and I'll probably work out tomorrow. So we'll just count that as 13. Um, I worked on developing a weekly self-care routine, so that's sort of in progress. I did make a list of like things that I can kind of do for self-care, self mental health. I have no idea what I actually did with that list. Um, but... My plan was to pick one thing from that list to do every week, and I definitely did not do that, but I just was, things were hectic this month. Um, read six fiction books. I think that I have read six. I finished two. I read one today. I read one yesterday. I think I'm up to five. I'll have to double check my Goodreads. I did not read, actually, well, I'm in the process of reading uh, a nonfiction for our book club. It's like a book of short stories, I believe. But, oh, uh, well, that's not nonfiction what I'm talking about. Never mind. So, yeah, did not do that. This is what I came up with for. Um, like how I wanted to track the things that I 
wanted to do um you can see like week one i sort of hit the ground running week two was the week that we i'm trying to think how did this work i want to say like the end of week one is when i had that muscle spasm and that like sort of bled into week two and then the end of week two is when we were at the beach and we didn't get back until like sunday and then it took me till like tuesday to kind of get myself reacclimated, and then i think that was like the week that school started and so this is kind of where things ended not this is this <laughs> current week I don't know if I'm going to get any of this done well I did read two books so I can fill that in um and today's only Wednesday so I don't know have I posted two reels nope I'm at one so Maybe I'll post another one by the end of the day. I mean, end of the week. I actually have like some that I need to film and I like have the stuff done. I just haven't filmed it yet. So, um, and then this is how I ended up using the weeks. I am really going to try to lean into these more in September because I think it helps me accomplish more if I'm like breaking down the things that need to be done on the different days. So this is a teacher planner layout and um, I'll show you a blank one. They just look like that and I just end up whiting out the days of the week and putting them across here. So my reflection for August, I'm definitely much more motivated at the start of the month and slow down as the month progressive progresses. I'm sorry. Having a separate goal and content planner is much more helpful than I thought it would be. I've also been adding check this planner onto the daily tasks and like my everyday carry to make sure that I get in the routine of um, looking at this planner more than once a day. Um, I haven't hit my sweet spot with using this planner in a way that will maximize its potential. Um, and then if I hadn't been tracking my progress, I don't think I would have given myself credit for what I actually did accomplish this month. For my adjustments for September, um, getting back into a regular routine will help me figure out a better way to manage my workflow. Staying ahead of content is the key to helping me stay consistent and setting aside specific time every week to evaluate my goals helps me stay on track and on task. These are some of the tags I wrote um, for some videos on my other channel that I wanna use. So we are going to do September. So I did like make some notes, which my grandson got a hold of them of this planner, that's why they're kind of all crumpled up. Um, I'm going to pull those out and then I'm going to pull this sheet out. Do I wanna do this first? Yeah, let's do this first. Okay, and I hope that this lighting is okay. I am using my ring light okay so i'm using my ring light so i hope it's a little bit better so i'm also using this sticker book for things and i'm have my planner off to the side so i can kind of refer back to it with how i wanted to do things so I know that I wanted to, let's see, we can cover this up. 
which is what I did last month, and that was fine. Oh, we should do no more excuses because y'all, I have really got to, but that's not big enough. I've really got to like get this book finished. What do I want to put there though? I don't know. Let's do... Where did I get that from? No more excuses. Do these things, how do these things look layered? Why didn't I just do that to begin with? Can I layer this over this? Hmm. Let's see. Not really. Hmm. Oh. Okay, that doesn't work completely, but we're also not giving up. Totally either. So I wonder if we do. I think that could work. However, I don't have scissors up here, so I mean I do, but I don't know like where they are right this second. So let me get this down and we'll see. to be fine. We're going to tell ourselves that it's going to look fine, and it is. So, I'm kind of excited to start brush. Okay, we're going to do that, and then did I have stuff that I was going to track. I know that I want this to be like stats, but did I have like a different kind of box that I was going to put there? Maybe. So, are we going to do this? Oh, that's much better. So, we're going to do stats and then I don't know what we're going to put there. So, we'll leave that for now. I do need to find my scissors. Where are they? I have like four pairs of scissors and I can't find any of them. Um, and then I pulled, what did I do? I pulled these two books 
and I thought I had another. Oh yeah, and then this book for like functional stuff. So I wonder if I have some sort of dog is outside and we cannot get her to come inside and she's like really barking loud. So let's do challenges. So that is her that you hear barking. There is a, there are two dogs that live in the house behind us and they are not outside in their yard and she has some feelings about it. Okay, so let me go find my scissors. Okay, I did not find my ruler, I mean my scissors, but I did find my slice tool. So hopefully I can just slice this. Did I do it? Did I probably did. But that's okay. Um, okay. We'll leave that blank for now. And then on this page, what are we gonna do? We are going to first put some florals down. So I think that I want to wipe this out. So I have pretty much been in the like um, try to have like try to condense my planners down as much as possible because I feel like um that having too many, maybe I should put these down, having too many um, makes me feel really overwhelmed. And so in the past, I've really only had two, maybe three planners at a time and one of them functioning more as like a um, what was I getting out of here? Um, one of them functioning more as like a journal than a planner per se, but I do, I wonder if I can just like use these and then cover up this little graphic. Um, but I will say that having... broke, like taken this part of planning out of like my everyday planner has been really um, helpful in a way that I just was not anticipating in any way. Oh, I wonder, I could just put a checklist down, huh? Um, and I, I had never really considered that because I am a person who tends to get very like overwhelmed with um, things. 
So I need four lists, but let's see, where do I want to start them? And how can I line them up so that they are giving me enough room to write? Um, so it's been a pretty, oh shoot, I need to put a label here, so this needs to go down. It's been a pretty chill birthday. I had a party over the weekend, which was nice. Um, and... Yeah, so I didn't really do much today. I did go to Starbucks and get my birthday drink, um, which was nice. And other than that, um, I haven't really done very much. I was going to go up to take flowers to the cemetery for my parents, but I just wasn't really feeling very um, like capable <laughs> of that today, so I didn't. Um, and then we had, is that crooked? Does that look crooked? It does look kind of crooked. Um, and then we had Indian food for dinner, which is kind of our tradition with birthdays is that um, like on the birthday, whoever, or on the day, whoever the birthday person is gets to have their favorite food. Um, so, yeah, and my favorite food is Indian food. So we just had that for dinner, and then my husband and son are gone to the hardware store to get, I don't know, a part for something, I think he said. I wasn't really paying that much attention, if I'm being perfectly honest. And then I wonder if I will like how this looks. I hope I do, <laughs> but we'll see. I am just kind of laying stuff down right now and hoping that it turns out the way that I want it to. I thought that I had like a, a game plan, but then I kind of forgot what it was. So here we are. No game plan, just vibes. <laughs> and we'll see how <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Um, okay, I do. Where is my? Okay, I do want to write this in. So let me make sure this is still recording. It is. So this is going to be challenges. So I want to write that in. I wonder if my hair is in the shot. Don't love the way I wrote that, but we're gonna we're gonna keep on moving because the way that I'm writing it is not 
that important. So I do have a list of priorities. So number one is going to be, um, I want to do, I guess, on. It's so weird, like, you can know that something is really good for you. Like I have been using this app on my phone for like a morning and evening routine. Um, and I forget what it's called, but yeah, it's called Routine Flow. So I have like one set up for my morning. The second priority is going to be um, prep for publishing. Or, no, actually the second routine is gonna be book edits. Um, so I have one set up for morning like my a.m. routine and then one set up for my p.m. routine and when I follow it <laughs> everything runs so smoothly however that does not mean that I regularly follow it and I'm not sure why I don't know if it's like a defiance kind of thing or not. And then the other one's going to be prep for publishing. Um, it's just like, I don't like the way I wrote that either. Um, when I like meal plan and meal prep. Things go, <laughs> things run so much better, but then like I don't do it all the time and I don't know what I need to do to get past that block so that it becomes more of a habit. I mean, I guess it's like a consistency thing, perhaps. I'm not really sure. Oh, I've got the categories written down. I do want to put something there for next month, but what? and then get some deco down. I feel like maybe this can go here. Okay, that looks better. I feel like it's starting to come together a little bit. Um, I am going to put some hmm. Let's do this one here because I didn't really take up all the space. there and then I kind of want something up there I'm also trying to get a lot better at like using my stickers versus Boarding them because that's what you buy them for, right? You buy them 
to use them, but then I love them so much that I don't want to use them. Um, and it just becomes like this vicious cycle. I wonder if I can cut, oh, where's my roller? Around that, I don't love that you can see the white out, but hopefully we can, uh, the dog really needs to come in. Like she's being ridiculous. I can't even like see the, okay, the, the, the blade of this with my, or with this ring light on. And I'm sure there's like a better, okay, there's that. And then I would like to kind of put, something else up in that corner but it's fine for now um oh there was like a little like to do thing here but this is on or it was like a clear sticker so I don't know how it will look. So, and another thing that I am trying to do is like a little bit of a reset for the year. Like, I don't know why I feel like I have to wait for a new year or a new quarter or whatever because I don't why is my phone beeping <laughs> no idea I usually have my phone on silent and it's on like vibrate which I don't know why because it has been giving me anxiety like all day long um to hear it vibrate uh like with people tagging me and posts and stuff on Facebook so okay we've got that done and then what I have been doing is, and you can cut, you can see it here that I use these lists as like a week. Um, so I think I wanted to pull them out. I already have them like whited out so that I can just um, like put the labels at the top and then label. Oh, that's what I think I was going to use those labels for and I use something else. So it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. Um, But I wanted to do, I have like a, um, did I not just lose, okay, here it is. And my back is really starting to hurt too. Um, let's see, what can I use for... And then like 
it also happens that like I will look in the books that I have used and get like frustrated that the stickers that I've already like used the stickers that I like, which is annoying. But we're gonna put these here. And I think this one is crooked because why would I lay down a sticker straight when I can fuck it up? You know? Um, but I am looking forward to a much calmer September, although maybe not so much. We have, my husband is now the den leader of our son's Cub Scout den. And which I didn't know. Well, I mean, I knew that like they have uh, like the Cub Scouts allows boys and girls like in the in the pack or whatever, uh, which is fine. Um, but I did not realize that when I don't have enough of these. What, like if a girl joins your den, then there has to be a female um, like co-leader or whatever. And so we don't have one. It's like my husband and another dad. And so... Um, there are like a couple girls who are interested or he said that like kind of showed interest in joining the pack or the, or his, the pack is like the big group. I like one day I will get this down. And when that day happens, um, our son probably won't be in the Cub Scouts anymore, but, um, There were like a couple girls who showed interest in joining the den. And so if they join, he asked me if I wanted to be um, if I would like do the things necessary to do to become like a co-leader. Um, so there's that. And then there's also our son is very into school. I should put the dates. Um, he is like, he very much loves school and we love that he loves school. Um, and he sees like the other parents, mostly moms, um, like volunteering and doing stuff at school. And so he wants me to do that. And I don't really like, that's not something I'm really interested in, but I also um, like, I, I love that he <laughs> wants that for me and so um yeah I will probably have to do a lot more like volunteering and work with the PTO which I'm not really looking forward to. So we will see how that goes. It's so funny when my older kids um, were in school. So if you have never watched this channel before, um, I have five kids 
and four of them are adults and don't live in the house with us anymore. My Our oldest daughter is 31, I think. Um, she'll be 32 in October. Um, I got married right out of high school uh, to my high school sweetheart and we had four kids um, really almost back to back like I think I was pregnant we had three kids in four years I think and then um, we had I th then I think there's like two and a half years between the next two um, and so yeah I had my oldest when I was 18 and then in a plot twist everyone saw coming <laughs> <laughs> um, I got divorced uh, when my children were young-ish, and so, oh, I guess I'm just going to put personal here. Um, yeah, and so I was a single mom for a while, and... I, so when my older kids were like in school, I was sort of involved like in the PTO, but I always felt super awkward because I was like the youngest mom there. Um, and now I feel super awkward. Oh, and then, so like fast forward some years later, I, um, got, met my current husband when I was 30. And we got married and had a baby. And yeah, then I had my youngest when I was 40. So he is nine. Um, and so now <laughs> I'm like the oldest mom there. So like the awkward, I, I still feel like really, really awkward and it's awful and I hate it. Um, so there's that. I mean, I don't really like dwell on it too, too much, but it's there. Um, so yeah, I went to the, my first PTO meeting last night and tried not to be the awkward person that I am. Um, so I've got these in. These are sort of like my action steps. Then I have a section for notes, and then I do think I'm gonna go ahead and set up the first week while we're here, and then the, why did I put these back in? Um, my monthly as well. I haven't filled it all in, obviously, but this is the monthly overview. I just put some deco down. What I will go through and do is put in like all of the things that I wanna do. And what I did last month was um, like put in all of the stuff that I had planned and then sort of when those things were like uploaded or posted or whatever, then I would like color it in. 
It got a little bit sloppy, but I'm thinking I will do the same thing with this monthly overview in addition to adding in like live streams for writing and um, maybe word counts, but I'm not sure. And then this is kind of the goals page. So I did go ahead and put down some um, like basic to do. Some of them um, may need to be broken down into smaller steps, but they're things that I want to get done this month. And then these are sort of the goals for the month in each category. What I will do is kind of break all of these down and I will put them on my Kanban board and then I will also um, use this page to break them down into like weekly actions and then um, the last thing that I will do is sort of plan out everything um, for next week. So you can see I have the days of the week across the top and then these are sort of the areas of my life that aren't personal <laughs> that I'm like trying to manage. So um, yeah, so that is the setup for the month of September. Um, and I'm looking forward to using this a little bit better than I did last month. I feel like every every month that I'm using it and the more that I'm in it, the more comfortable I'm becoming and also the more ideas I'm getting for how to use it better like in the future. So um, this video is long and rambly and filmed over the course of two days. <laughs> and, um, but if you enjoyed it, uh, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you are using any sort of system to kind of plan out your goals um, in the comments down below. And I will see you on my next one. Bye.